This is uh, the level four from the episode three. Yeah, you're right. That's where Duke says, I'm afraid of no quake. That's it. I ain't afraid of no quake. The frame rate is fixed at the 60 FPS, so it's spends this time rendering the image and then waiting and then performs busy wait to uh, begin the next frame right at the mark mm. here it is it has some basic editing functions let's see you can change the shades of course you can change the palette you can change the texture but it's very basic very quick and dirty so it's not intended for any serious mapping if you meet a, a partially transparent texture you can make it uh, masked and make it translucent make it different mixing modes can make the floor into a mirror and it look like they look like this uh, when you and, um, make a additive blend and press no reflection it looks like this uh, it's very beautiful press no reflection effect when you view the first surface edge on it becomes more reflective and you at uh, right angle but it unfortunately doesn't work for slanted surfaces because slanted reflections are not supported at all by the surrenderer uh, it tries to make such uh, reflection but it fails of course every time we go with a slanted mirror we should disable the reflectivity property and just make a opaque wall or floor or ceiling ceiling they are they are parallaxed they can be unparalleled this can be Paralyzed, it becomes a cylindrical map. Uh, you can see the boundaries between uh, so called uh, sub frames uh, used to emulate a vertical free look. Uh, there are four sub frames in, at the extremes, uh, but it the renderer is trying to minimize its quantity so uh, maximize the performance of course you can't see the zenith you can see the nadir points but uh, s s eventually eventually they uh, all can be rendered all the way when they come with a consistent 3d polygon rendering functions of course they will enable us for native 3D rendering capability or more elaborate processing uh, when it can can uh, can make the scene true six degree of freedom. Let's make the event reflective it just f looks funny uh, a bit and you make a reflective pen uh, it looks like this uh, some effects are still wrong if you make a 
reflect the voltage too bright and it can't be reflectivity can't be uh, changed it's always 100 percent but it's just uh, their uh, map format so far it restricts us from doing this course they can make multiple reflections and it uh, works like a charm even at, at uh, nice frame rates so we can see it, it is within several milliseconds uh, still manages to render multiple reflections but if you uh, overdo it uh, it uh, can easily crash or cause glitches uh, numerous glitches due to uh, buffer overflow and so on uh, we can some sprite sorting algorithm expand our algorithm it's not doesn't use the buffering so you can see where the one sprite overdraws another one uh, and the billboard sprites are just flat surfaces oriented towards the camera so it looks a bit silly at the extreme angles but it works for uh, legacy art later we can make uh, so yeah the, these artifacts are caused by multi-threaded rendering when the boundaries between the sectors um, uh, happen to meet the boundaries of uh, thread uh, windows they are arranged like vertical stripes of Image is split vertically into eight mm, segments sections, so they are rendered separately in separate threads, and this speeds up the rendering at high resolutions a lot. But it's not optimal, of course. It's uh, quite coarse-grained modern threading, so it's. Uh, it, it works, but it's not perfect either. Um, uh, let's look at the other locations. Of course, we can uh, make uh, fog. Uh, it's dark fog. We can make it uh, like this. It uh, becomes uh, gray fog. It's uh, essentially the same kind of fog uh, visibility but it's just uh, it's complemented by uh, addition color additive blending so it really adds to the atmosphere but it doesn't work work well with sky the parallax textures so it becomes it uh, it's left uh, un, uh, unprocessed, unprocessed of course and the slanted surfaces are rendered using the const z lines it's the diagonal lines it's a series of slanted uh, scans so this method handles uh, the fog and the uh, map mapping really well uh, we can use it for just every object in the in the scene uh, even the sprites can be slanted unlike build engine where the sprites can be either vertical or horizontal in Barma the sprites can be sloped like this and still 
uh, remain correctly displayed but we can't affect can't change edit the sprite so far it doesn't have a hit scan routine that it's able to check for for any sprite hitting but it's uh, it does some calling calling is uh, accurate but it's restricted to one sector and when this part happens to extend it into another sector it's all the way wrong because the, the geometry is still taken from the original sector and it also should be redone later to support the multi sector sprites which are so far they're glitchy like they they were in the original build engine but but uh, my engine is not based on build engine so it's just inspired by the build engine and uh, use uh, an completely another map format uh, resource format for storing textures and sounds so it's a completely new technology that's especially uh, optimized for parallel computing and it's really really vastly uh, more powerful than it was in 19 94 96 when the build engine was um, being developed by Ken Silverman uh, so it's uh, just the development of original ideas of sector based engine extended into full 3d uh, world uh, and you can Really move around and see all the uh, all the mm, f sector where sector and wall over walls walls uh, over another portals another world walls uh, world of uh, it's extremely fast if you handle it purple purple way supports voxels uh, uh, already it's uh, uh, the voxels in my own format we'll see you next time that's it